Hello. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the new achievement, achievement uh, module in EDGE and the benefits that it is now providing for classroom teachers, team leaders and senior managers in schools. I'm going to cover um, how it can be used by the classroom teacher. I'm going to talk about target groups that can be set up. For example, um, English as Second Language, Gifted and Talented, Special Needs, uh, those students who are well below, um, and being able to track them. I'm going to talk about the analysis points, which are what enable us to do all of this. And I'm going to talk about the tracking spreadsheet and where that's headed and the benefits that can provide um, for things like moderating uh, data, for um, defining target groups and for grouping students at the beginning of the year for classroom teachers. Very quickly, I'm just going to describe the screen and what it's all about. We've got the subject areas across the top here uh, and I'll show you what we, uh, how we set them up and how they work. Down the side here, because I've got an admin log on, I've got the ability here to choose any classroom that I want to. And here are some groups that have been set up. The group in particular that I'm going to um, demonstrate today is the target group for Year 8 Literacy. Then you can look at uh, information by group level, you can look at it by year level. And then down the bottom, um, this is where you go in to set up the assessment points. Now, the assessment points are what allow us, uh, they're like a range of dates within a subject, within a year level, um, when I say a range of dates, a start and an end point, um, which allow us to pick up data for a group of children, whether it be a classroom teacher or a year level or a target group, and follow those students through different analysis points, either as a cohort or aggregating that data to see overall what improvements been made or popping them into a spreadsheet for that group and being able to have a look from student to student within that spreadsheet to see what improvements have been made perhaps after intervention has occurred. So that's the analysis point and you set them up for maths, national standards is fixed and you can set them up for the other areas, other learning areas as well. Once that's done, um, you could also go back to 2014, so in retrospect we are doing that in some of the schools so that we can go and look at tracking last year's data. Once that's done, um, the classroom teachers or the senior managers can come in and they can uh, enter data or they can look at analysing data or they can pull data into spreadsheets. So for example here I've got my Room 6 class and what we've got here is what we call the landing, landing page and I've got um, quite a mixed group. And in this mixed group, across those year levels, this is the, the uh, assessment that we've selected that we actually want to do. So we've got some running records in here, nice display of the colours. Um, not a lot of data being entered, put a little bit into writing exemplars um, and the PAT test. So I'm going to concentrate um, on the PAT listening um, initially for just room six. And in a minute, we'll have a look at it as a target group. But in the listening here, if we come into listening here, it's giving me my analysis points. So there's my end of year analysis point last year, and here's my term one analysis point for this year. If I want to go in and mark assessment, I come in here and it pulls up a data page for me to put my data into. But for now, I'd like to go and have a look as a classroom teacher at what my results were for um, PAT listening. So I can now come in here and I can sort my stay nines from top to bottom, um, I could export that data to a CSV if I wanted to. I won't go into um, the aggregation that I could do in here because I'm going to do that with a bigger group. But the other thing I can do um, as a classroom teacher is go to the overall tracking spreadsheet. Now at the moment, that overall tracking spreadsheet is only showing the running records and I could go back and look at 2014. What I'm seeing here are my running records for 2015. What teachers would like to see and what senior managers would like to see um, moving on from here in this tracking spreadsheet is the ability to pull data together from any analysis points from previous years for any data into one tracking spreadsheet. For example, the ability to pull together several reading tests, whether it be STAR, running records, probe, PATs, plus the national standard OTJ, so that um, 
they, a classroom teacher could moderate that to check that they've got their data right, or more particularly, a team leader could pull together um, a year level across several rooms to make sure that teachers are on the same page as far as making their assessments are concerned, so that the national standards, when it goes down to um, the ministry, has been carefully moderated. Classroom teachers would also want to use this tracking spreadsheet to group their children at the beginning of the year so they would pick up the end of last year's analysis point, um, perhaps in reading, writing and maths, so that they can actually group their children. And last but not least, senior managers would probably very much like to go across the year levels at the beginning of the year using last year's data in various uh, subject areas, particularly reading, writing and maths, to set up their target groups. So those students maybe who are well below in a particular area or the ESOL groups maybe, or the gifted and talented groups so that they can actually extend those children. Then the analysis of that data would be able to show what, when they've put the interventions in to try and help these children or extend them, they can then have an overall look at the group through analysis of data to see whether they've made a difference. So from here, I'm going to come down to the uh, target literacy year eight, and we'll go in and look at uh, some of the English data for that overall group. So now I've gone and I've chosen the Literacy Year 8 target group. So this is um, a group of students that I want to track over the year after some intervention. More likely, it might be those students who are well below, but this gives me um, a big group to be able to show you what we can now do with edge analysis. So if I come into the PAT comp, again, here are the analysis points that have been set up. And I'm going to say initially that what I want to view is view my term one um, results. So I can come in here and I can choose that. And this is the term one results for this target group. So I could come in here and I could sort the stay nines and have a look at those students. Um, what would be ideal in the overall tracking would be able to go through and also pull into the spreadsheet um, last year's um, end of year maybe or beginning of last year's PAT comp stay nines so that I can compare in a, in a tracking spreadsheet how students have, have um, changed over that year. Um, what I want to do now is maybe as a group have a look at this group and analysis. Now I can either do that as a table, so I'm looking at those 25 students here, I can look at their names as we scan across the top. At the moment we can only look at stay names, we could look at it as numbers or percentages, and then um, we could also go into it and look at it as a bar graph. Um, some, some schools prefer the bar graphs, others prefer the tables. The colours show uh, we have a well below, a below, an at above and a well above. Um, and we're now we're actually looking at the term one analysis point um, for that year eight group. What I'd like to do now is go back and look at this year eight group um, as, uh, as they were in a cohort track. Now, a true cohort track, so we want to go from term one last year to term, uh, sorry, term one, term four last year to term one this year. Um, and let's have a wee look. I mean, you might go from term one last year to term one this year. Or you might go um, within a year level. You might want to have a look at term one this year to term four this year later on to make sure that if you've put a group in, you've done some intervention, you want to have a look and see whether as a group you have made a difference. This is used for reporting to boards of trustees, for setting targets for the ministry for next year. So just being able to pick that up. The tracking spreadsheet is more often used um, for, as a group of students to be able to go in and say, right, for this group, group of students, I would like to pick up last year's, the last, uh, from last year, their first analysis point uh, and their last analysis point and the first analysis point from this year and maybe the mid-year analysis point from this year. And I'd like to see as individuals in a spreadsheet how we are going, maybe sort them, um, group them, have a look um, at individual results. So, but being able to compare across, across time. So what I'm going to do in here now is look at a group cohort. So I'm saying here I want to do, I want to have a look at term one 2015 and I want to look at last year's analysis point for term four. I actually would like to look at that as a bar graph. So I'm going to display the stay nines for that. And so what I'm seeing there is that analysis point for um, 
Term 4 last year, Term 1 this year, for that literacy target group and how they've actually went, have gone. I can, if I wish, just turn that off and say what, what I really want to do is just look at um, the Term 1 one. Now I'll bring that back in. So you've got the ability to look at um, that progress over time. Still really worth with the tracking spreadsheet. Um, in the future when we're able to go in there and pick up all of these analysis points over time and have a look at individuals in the group as they as they move. So coming back again to uh, select, sorry not selecting class, back to the target group again. Uh, you can also in these tests, so for example if I want to look at the term one current attainment analysis, I can go in there and I can say I'd like to have a look at um, ethnicities in here. Now this is another important one. Uh, certainly Ministry and Eero say, well what are you doing for your Maori students? What are you doing for your Pacifica? And how do they compare with your Europeans? Now again to be able to pull that into a tracking spreadsheet, so a group of Pacifica students, have a look, find out where the weaknesses are, um, then have a look at them again at another analysis point further down the year to see if interventions worked as another thing that they want to do. You can break Pacifica into Samoan and Tongan if that's something that you would like to do. So right now I'm going to display this table, but really what I'd like to do is do that as a um, do that as a bar graph. Display that. So now what I'm seeing is my European, my Pacifica, and my Maori people. And once again, I could come in here and I could turn that off and just get the Pacifica and the Maori. Or I could say, well, I just want to compare New Zealand European with Maori. These can be exported um, by using this up here, um, as any of those images can be imported and, and then dropped into a document for reporting to the board. Or as a number of schools I've been talking to are saying they'd quite like to do now, is because this is so graphic, take it along to a board meeting and uh, actually do the display on the screen there and then, because it's so easy to just say, and if I do this, I can get that. And if I take that off, I'm getting this look, etc. So it is really very useful for that sort of analysis of data. So I hope this has given you some idea and a little bit more of insight into what we're using the um, analysis points for and just how much of an improvement this new achievement module is and how much schools are enjoying it. Thank you.